Hi again everyone, this is Michael from webhostingcat.com and in this video we're going to show you how you can host multiple websites or domains with your cPanel web hosting plan. You know, one of my most popular blog posts was on how to host multiple domains on iPage, I believe it was. Now if you don't have a cPanel hosting plan, the steps you need to take will be very similar. Uh, there may be some slight differences with your hosting control panel, but uh, basically the process is the same. Uh, now I prefer to use a centralized domain name management source. Uh, the two I use are GoDaddy and Namecheap and for this demo we'll be using GoDaddy. So the first thing we're going to do is purchase our new domain and for this example we're going to use GoDaddy. So we're just going to type in the domain name we're looking for here. In our case PetCareOnlineReviews.com And actually I already own this domain so it's going to say it's not available. Uh, but in your case, uh, hopefully it'll come up and it'll say it is available so you can go ahead and purchase it. So then it'll be available in your domain name manager uh, at GoDaddy. So next you need to point your new domain to your web server. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Uh, some web hosts prefer that you create a zone record. Uh, the easier way and the way most web companies recommend is to simply change your name servers. Now your name servers are what resolve your domain name to the correct web hosting server so people can find your site on the internet. Now when you sign up for your web hosting package, your web hosting company will usually provide your name server information uh, in your welcome email. Here's the welcome email I got and you can see the name servers here. Typically they're going to be named uh, NS1, your web hosting company name, NS2, web hosting company name, something like that. Now, if you don't have your welcome email handy, uh, some web companies will actually provide this information in your account control panel, uh, whether that's your uh, web hosting account panel or cPanel. Uh, and if it's not there, you can just always ask support and they'll provide you with that information. So to change our name servers, we're going to go to the domain name management area. Again, this is GoDaddy in our example. And we're going to uh, edit our domain and we're going to click on the area where it says edit name servers. Now as you can see right now it's set to the default GoDaddy name servers so we're going to change that. So we're going to click on edit name servers and we're going to set our custom name servers here. And I'm just going to copy my information over here. Again in this example we're going to use Green Geeks so we'll add the Green Geeks name servers here. NS1 and NS2 and we'll click save. As you can see here it says it may take a few minutes for the changes to take effect. Uh, usually it doesn't take that long though. So now that we've uh, changed our name servers, the next thing we need to do is add this new domain to your hosting account. Now to add your new domain we're going to go into cPanel so in our example, we're going to launch the Green Geek cPanel. And we're going to go to our domain section. And in our case, we're going to create an add-on domain. So we're going to click on the add-on domain icon. And we'll enter our new domain name here, PetCareOnlineReviews.com. And when we tab over, we'll get our default domain name. This is the area where your files will actually be stored. And for now we're not going to do an FTP. So now we just click to add the domain. And it takes a little bit here. And we'll see that the domain has now been added. So that's the process there. So now in the future when you need to add more domains, all you need to do is rinse and repeat this process. Once your new domain has been propagated over the internet, you can go ahead and build your new website on that domain. Whether you want to install a content management system like WordPress or the website builder you get with your web hosting account. So that's a quick look on how you can host multiple websites with your cPanel web hosting. Of course, the one thing you need to make sure of is that your web hosting plan allows you to host multiple sites. Some of the entry level hosting plans limit you to a single site, so just be aware of any limitations on your hosting account. If you need assistance in finding a quality multiple domain hosting plan, click on the link to my post in the video description. That's going to do it for now. As always, thanks for watching and take care.